Hey, welcome back to Afternoon Express. Good to have you with us. We're in the kitchen and we're about to get cooking with some chicken uh, with Clem Pedro. It's a bit of a mm -hmm. cluck off today on the show. Clem's brought his girlfriend into the loft today and they're going to be doing a cook off with us uh, on the show today, both using chicken dishes. Who's this better? You'll have to head on online and just kind of share your thoughts with us. Clem, your time starts now. Awesome. So, what I've got in the pan is some caramelized onions. Yeah. Caramelizing onions. Very, very important, brings out the sweetness. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start building some awesome flavor. While I'm doing that, I'm telling you about the reason we're talking about this milk. Cool. So Ayrshire milk is exclusive to Woolworths. And if you're wondering what's with the green label on the bottle, it's really cool because this, this bottle actually has a negative carbon footprint. Boom. Like, so like the way it's so, Yeah, explain to me that. So the way that they do it has got a... I don't actually know. Well, see, the bottle is 100% recyclable and 30% of it is plant-based. Oh, yes, actually I Actually using sugarcane. We actually had a conversation about this on the, mm -hmm. on the show not too long ago. So it's really interesting. I mean, this is the way we're moving forward when it comes to packaging, about being earth-conscious and what's mm. like, the best way to ensure that we're going to actually have a future, which I really... Well, you've got to go for the green label, OK? Spot cool. the green label and get it. Lovely. Ish. Father, you haven't told people what we're doing with the milk and the chicken. So is it, is it milk, chicken? You know, you know what? Let me give you this. So you can just drink while I talk. What is this? So, Asian milk is exclusive to wools, like I said, and it's got such a unique uh, flavor. So creamy, it's so delicious, and milk is versatile. Mm -hmm. So what I've done for you, I'm not saying I, I did it to pacify you. No and keep you quiet, not at all. It's just a show. No one can keep me quiet. No, no, no. <laughs> Even with food in my mouth. Okay, it's still talking. Cool. So what I've done is I've actually frozen some milk cool. in ice cube trays, and I've blended it in the smoothie, so mm. I don't add any ice to it. So I'm not diluting the flavor. This is really yum, by the way. Thanks for breakfast and awesome. dinner at the same time. Mm. So I know that we all know milk, like I said, used a lot in breakfast and our teas and coffees. But in a savory dish? Yeah, that's insane. It's I've actually never, I've not. never actually seen it before. There are so many, maybe. Hey, yes, exactly. But there are so many traditional recipes that use milk as a, in a savory dish. Even an Italian one where they roast pork belly with a whole lot of olives, a whole lot of beautiful wow. spices and milk. I'm learning new things. Milk is generally one thing that people use to sort of uh, tenderize meat. I've seen that happen yes. before. Hey, look at you. So I let me tell you what I've been way. doing so far. So I had some ginger, some garlic went in there, mm -hmm. and then I got some chili flakes, some turmeric. I love turmeric, turmeric in everything this year. Turmeric on everything, like in everything, everything. And tomorrow I'm going to cover myself in turmeric, OK? <laughs> You're just not wearing your turmeric colored shirt like you did no, yesterday. No, 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 I had to wash it. Aww. I wanted to wear it again, but producer was like, you can't be wearing the same clothes every day on TV. Don't <laughs> do it. And also Dan complained about the smell in the loft, yes. No, man, don't be di because I <laughs> <laughs> Dan, what we say, what we say off air stays off air. Yeah, true. Uh, okay. Like, I'm going to stop dishing <laughs> about you. Okay, so you know, uh, uh, no, it's fine. So you so, threw in some ground coriander in there too, I see. Yeah, that. exactly. Cool. And what I'm going to do for a little bit of flavor, um, black mustard seeds. We hardly we don't use it a lot. Brilliant in curries. I've that never goes in seen there. you use that before while I've been in the slot, it's so that's cool. so good, so delicious. And then some curry leaves. What's a curry nice. without curry leaves? Well, it's just... It's nothing, it's just leaves. Exactly. I mean... No, other no, way around, just, just, just a curry. Nothing, yeah. <laughs> okay, Dan, so what you want to do is cook this for about a minute, it becomes super fragrant, and you want to smell it. That's, that you cook with all your senses, mm, really. you want to smell it, those mustard seeds are going to start popping, so you're going to hear it. Oh, and it you smells know, so good. It wow. does, eh? You're the combination awesome. of flavors. Am I allowed to amazing. say that it smells so good? You are allowed to. Hashtag Team Pedro. The fox saying, smells his own hole. Pedro's chicken. Pedro's chicken. The same Team Clem. Vote. <laughs> so then in the, some brown chicken goes in there. What you're going to do now is real simple. Just kind of toss it in there. You want to coat the chicken in those spices. And you want to, like, again, you want to see like, those, like the, the you, spices all over. Sorry, have you par cooked that chicken? Is that raw? Is it's it... just been browned. Browning okay, so the chicken. It. And the reason we do that is because it kind of develops caramelized flavor on the outside of the chicken. Okay, so cool. very, very important. Then, can you bring on the hero of the day? Which one? Anyone. This one. Anyone but Full... that one. Just oh, wow. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back. Full cream. OK, I got you. <laughs> Come on. So, so pour it in, bring it to a simmer, and then you're going to pop it into the oven. It's going to roast for, I'd say roast it for about close to an hour. Because what you want to happen, you want that milk to reduce and become a delicious yes. sauce. You want the chicken to be pull delicious. apart tender. And we're going to serve it with something. Again, we're being unusual. So we're roasting the chicken and milk. So this is what, what it looks like when it's done. Uh, Dan, oh, my Dan, word. Dan. That looks so delicious. OK, so can you please spoon yes. some of that over the rice? Okay. So we've, we've been talking about grains lately and how amazing they are. Mm -hmm. What I've done is I've used the Woolies Basmati rice that's already made. Yummy. And I've tossed that with a little bit of the, the ancient grain rice as well. You're trusting me with this plating, by the way. I am. You know what? It's, it's all about being rustic. And you've got some green rustic. stuff in there. Is that all coriander? That's coriander. You know and then if you're wondering why I've got some kale on the side, what I've done is I've roasted some kale with some olive oil mm -hmm. in the oven for about 10 minutes. And I actually like the smoky flavor that it gives the curry. That's so all you've got to do is grab it and then crunch 
And kind of like think of it like a crouton for your curry. Curry croutons. It's stuff, something we're doing in 2017. Cool, yummy. Can I pour this over? Please do. Don't waste that sauce. That sauce is oh, so that's delicious. Oh, my so word. intense and flavorful. It smells so delicious, Clem. Honestly, this smells so yummy. It smells like one of those. Uh, often that you can get these sort of dishes that we've made on the show, which doesn't have that like home feel to it. This has got that, like a stewy sort of home feel to it. It's warm, it's fuzzy, and it kind of gives you all of those good endorphins after chewing it. it. Up. Look at that. Yummy. That's also gonna give it a nice smoky flavor there. And look, I'm, getting, I'm even getting some on the table for like just to being rustic. Delicious. So is that your final product? Is that done in dust? Is that yes. the final product people have to go and say whether they prefer that or Megan's dish later on? I'm kidding. Megan. It's not a competition. Oh, We're just here to enjoy it's like Everybody's cooking. a winner. Everybody's a winner. <laughs> you can also be a winner by sending through an SMS to 33650 with the keyword chicken. Uh, once you do that, you'll get all the details on your mobile device for the recipe and the shopping list as well. That SMS will cost you 150 And remember, your free SMSs don't apply. And if you want all the details on how exactly he made his milk chicken, Go check this recap.